Hey guys, this is Aaron. Some of the questions we get a lot of are pertaining to groups and components. Things like what is the difference between a group and a component, or when should I use one over the other? I have a couple examples here that I want to show you the difference in groups and components. We'll start by creating them. So groups and components are both containers. That is to say, they isolate geometry from other geometry. So if I was to triple click on this G right here, and just as it is, move it to overlap the R. When I try to move it back, you'll see it's going to get stuck because that geometry merged with the R as soon as I moved it. If I right click and say make group, now if I move it over the R, I can move it back because the container isolates that geometry. So groups are great ways to take a group of geometry or a bunch of geometry and combine it together and isolate it from everything else. If I right click on selected geometry and I say make component, it's going to come up and actually prompt me for some information. It's going to ask me for a definition, a description. This is the name and, and just basic information that you need to uh, reference. What is this group or what is this component? Um, gluing. I have an option to make it automatically glue to other surfaces or always face camera. Bunch of options in here that I can put in there that go along with the component. Unlike a group, which is just the container, uh, components inherit a little bit of information right from the beginning as well. All right, so that's creating a group versus a component. So what about actually using them? How are they different? If we buzz over here to this cabinet, I have two stacks of bowls. Over here on the left, if I pick one, it comes up and tells me it is a group. It also tells me that there are five identical groups in this model, and that is these five bowls stacked here. On the right side, I pick one, it tells me it's a component. Again, five of these in the model, right here. So this is a functional difference between groups and components. If I double click into this group, and I'm going to pull up my uh, paint bucket, and I'm going to paint this bowl blue. We see that that bowl turned blue. If I exit out of here, the rest of the bowls did not. Groups, again, just isolate geometry. There's nothing linking one of these groups to another group. Over here in components, on the other hand, if I double click into one of these components, and I'm going to color this red, they all turn red. Components reference each other. So if there's one copy of a component that is edited, all instances of that component are changed. The another thing that happens that's real nice is this component browser window. So I have this, this is my components window. Any component I save in the model shows up in this list. So even if I was to do something like, um, say I was to delete all of these red bowls out of here. They're all gone. There's no more in the model anywhere. But I can come into the component browser, grab this bowl, and bring it right back into the model. I can do that with any component, even if there's not a copy in there. If I take this blue bowl and delete it, that blue bowl is gone forever. I'd have to recreate it to bring it back into my model. So that's the basic functionality of components. Another question we get a lot of is, what about file size? What impact does groups versus components have on file size? Here I have an example of two models. So this one on the left has 100 copies of this little chess piece, all saved as groups. On the right side, I have 100 copies of the exact same geometry, but saved as components. So if I look at the statistics for these files, you can see my 100 groups is just under 400K, while as my components is 268K. So significantly smaller by using components. That's because there is actually one instance of this geometry saved, and then it's just repeated throughout the model. Whereas over here, every single line, every single face is recreated to make this model. So that's a quick look at using groups and components in SketchUp. Thank you.